Hi, this is Jay Morielli. Welcome to tutorial number two, layout editor setup. Okay, the first thing I'd like to do is uh, set up the toolbars. If you left mouse click in the toolbar area, you can turn on some extra uh, toolbars that are really handy. If they're not already turned on, turn on the layer, the mouse help, drawing tools, the editor edit tools, both select tools, navigation tools, the file operations tool, uh, cell tools, both cell tools, the snap tools, measurement tools, very handy, and the command line tools. If you hit the escape key, this menu goes away and you can see the what the menu should look like. Uh, these are the drawing tools here. The select tools are here. Uh, the editing tools are in this area here. This little bar tells you what cells you're working on. Uh, your undo and redo, very handy little tools there. Uh, magnification, um, the file tools are here. The setup tools are here. Measurement tools here. Uh, these would be your um, cell tools and then the snap to tools. Now when you get layout editor, these tools are all kind of jammed up together. So if you find this little, little handle here, you can move them around into new layers and spread them out so they're easily accessible. Uh, okay, over here you have your layers. And then over here you have your um, mouse button context menu. Very handy uh, to tell you what to do when you're um, in a particular operation. Down here at the bottom is the XY coordinates. And uh, that's very helpful to, to, for placing things in a specific location. Okay, so now we're going to the layer menu, to the layer manager, and we're going to define some layers. And we're going to um, define the layers in the order that they're stacked on the wafer, uh, but it's not necessarily the order in which the masks are used, and I'll try to uh, identify that. Okay, so the first layer is going to be a guide for the mask. And th this mask guide is provided in the template from Photo, ma uh, Photo Mask Portal, and I'll import that shortly. Okay, so the next one, the next layer is the top contacts, and this is going to be mask number three as uh, that I talk about in the introduction. Mask layer number two is going to be the top dielectric and graphene, and this is going to be mask one that I talked about in the introduction. Then we're going to talk about, this is going to be the, ex, uh, the expose, the graphene layer that we're going to expose, and this is mask two that I talked about into, in the introduction. Now, to continue out the wafer, and I'm not going to use these masks, but it's going to keep me oriented, is the bottom dielectric, uh, the substrate, and then I'm going to include two layers of metal on the bottom so that if I decide later on, I can metalize the bottom of the wafer to solder it into the package if I desire uh, to do that instead of epoxy. So this is my stack up of the, of the wafer here. And now what I'm going to do is define some uh, layout guides to help me uh, make structures and place them a lot easier. The first one's a die courtyard. It's going to tell me the boundary of the die. I'm going to set the fill style to open, and I'm going to change the color to bright orange. Next, I'm going to define a contact keep out area. And it's an, it's an open fill, and it's a blue color, so I'm going to keep it. Next, I'm going to define the saw center channel, and I'm going to change that to a open 
color, uh, an open fill and keep the default color. Next, we're going to define the pad to pad keep out. We're gonna make it a open fill and a bright pink color. And then lastly, we're gonna define a outline area that's gonna be used to, to um, help me build structures. And I'm gonna make it a open fill and I'm gonna change the color, oops, I'm gonna change the color to open, I mean to yellow, sorry. Okay, so down here, there's this little plus sign that hides some things. So you can turn off all your layers. You can turn them on. You can turn on only layers that are currently being used. We don't have any layers that are being used. They're going to be all off. So we're going to turn them off and just enable the layers that we're going to work with to build our graphene fets. And say OK, and then we're going to click over here in the layer area, and you can see that all our our layers are uh, pop in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the photo mass portals uh, glass mass template. I'm going to open that, and you can see that we get all these great cells that we can use in our design. Very useful. And we're going to start by defining a new cell and then going to give that cell a name and we're going to call it wafer. And we're going to say OK. And then we're going to go to the drawing tool, pull down menu and say cell. And then we're going to go over and look for the five inch mass template and we're going to say OK. And then we're going to uh, zoom out by using our mouse wheel to see the whole template, move it around to the center where the X, Y coordinates in the bottom left hand corner are zero, zero, left click mouse once, and then escape. And I've just placed my um, mask template. I've got the outline of my four inch wafer. I've got the outline of the wafer. I've got some keep out here. And so you can see where, where um, we're ready to go to the to the next step. But first, I just want to show that if you middle mouse click on your mouse layer, you can turn it on and off so that you can hide layers. You can work on a single layer without getting uh, distracted by other layers. Very helpful. All right, so I'm going to save this and uh, we'll be back with the next tutorial.